Hey, Vision Chasers, it's Dr. Bird here. The word impeachment has been used a lot over the past couple months, and because in the history of the United States, there's only been two presidents who have been impeached, I wanted to do a series to answer a few questions that I've been sent about impeachment. So first off, let's talk about what is impeachment. Now, before we go into answering that question, I want to let you know that as always, what I do is I stay out of the, uh, I stay out of taking sides. So you're not going to get that in this video in terms of taking sides. I leave that to you So that's your responsibility to go out and look at and analyze and question the information that you're getting from both sides because uh, It's going to be very difficult unfortunately to really get to the truth. So I leave that to you uh, Good luck with with all of your research and, and finding out you know how you want to make up your mind and what side you want to fall on again that's that's your responsibility so i'll leave that to you so the term impeachment it the in terms of the impeachment process the the term impeachment means to formally accuse of a crime to to impeach a president that means you're formally accusing that president of a crime it does not mean removal from office but it means that we have formal charges and we're, we're filing these charges against this president. And so again, if a president is impeached, let's take this president, the president Trump, if he is impeached, that means he is formally accused of a crime, but that does not necessarily mean that he is removed from office. There's another process in the impeachment process that that is taken in order to remove him from office. So let's get into that. So the ability to impeach a president is in the Constitution because it helps to make sure that there is a balance between the three branches of government. So the judicial branch, the legislative branch and the executive branch, which the president is in charge of. So to make sure that the president is doing their job according to the Constitution and it's all legal, the the legislative branch, they have the authority to if the president is not doing what they're supposed to do they have the authority to begin these impeachment proceedings and possibly remove the president from office and this phrase has been spoken many times during these impeachment proceedings that the no one is above the law no one is above the law and that's another reason why the impeachment process was placed in the Constitution to make sure that the president doesn't act unlawfully. So the Constitution provides for the impeachment of a president for these three crimes. It specifically mentions treason, bribery, and high crimes and misdemeanors. Now that second crime, bribery, is being used a lot to describe what President Trump has done and we'll see what happens as these proceedings go on. So as you probably know already, when the founders put this government together, they decided to go with a bicameral system, meaning that there are two houses in the legislative branch. So we have on one side, the House of Representatives, and representation is based on population. So currently there's 435 members. And then we have the Senate. Now the Senate is based, every, every, it's based on equal representation. So every state gets two senators. So 50 states, that means there are 100 senators. Now the impeachment process begins with an impeachment inquiry in the House of Representatives, which has been going on for some time now. Now the impeachment inquiry works like this. The House simply gathers information, talks to witnesses to gather facts to determine if they want to move forward with writing actual articles of impeachment to vote on in order to send to the Senate. Now, if the Speaker of the House determines the evidence against the president to be overwhelming, the Speaker of the House will then direct the House Judiciary Committee to write articles of impeachment. These are the, the formal, this is the form, these are the formal charges that are going to be written down and then submitted to the full House for a vote. Now, once 
these articles are submitted to the full house for a vote it takes a simple majority vote in order to formally impeach the president in order to say the president has been impeached so a majority of these 435 representatives have voted that yes this evidence is overwhelming and these charges do need to be filed against the president because the president has acted outside of the law and that's how it works on on the House of Representatives side. So if the House of Representatives gets that majority vote, then these charges are formally sent to the Senate. They're sent to the Senate for a trial to determine if the president is going to be removed from office. So once again, the difference, impeach means you've been accused of a crime, you've been accused, but then you get a trial in the Senate. And the way it works in the Senate is the 100 senators, they're going to be the jurors and they're going to go through a more detailed process. The president is going to be able to have lawyers involved and call witnesses and, and there's going to be more testimony. And the chief justice of the Supreme Court is going to preside over the whole thing. Now, in the Senate, because the Senate is about removing the president, it takes a two thirds vote to remove the president from office. A two thirds vote to remove an impeached president from office after the trial has occurred. In the history of the United States, there has never been a president who has been removed from office through this impeachment process. So we've had two presidents who've been impeached, but they were not removed from office. So that's J Johnson and Clinton. They were not removed from office. So we'll see what happens with the impeachment of impeachment of President Trump. We'll, we'll see if that happens, but I just wanted to do that quick little video for you just to give you some of the basics of impeachment, what that means, and, and the entire process. Now, I know I've upset some constitutional scholars because I made this video so brief and I didn't talk like this so but there there is so much more information about the impeachment process if you're curious to know more about it i'm going to make an, a worksheet available for download with this video i've also included some additional links for you to some other resources so that you can further your knowledge of impeachment what, what impeachment means and the process and some of the history throughout the throughout the history of the united states of, of impeachment who's come close to impeachment and what happened to Johnson and Clinton and, and Nixon. Um, so I encourage you to check out those links. Thank you so much for watching. And until we meet again, please keep chasing the vision. Bye.